Hey everyone, it's Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com with another very interesting sketchbook. Chris Ann is a student in my foundation drawing class at the School of Visual Arts on Friday. I have a Tuesday class and I have a Friday class. And uh, finally, you know, we're at mid semester. We just had the mid semester evaluation of, of every student in the class, just about. Uh, I have still a couple more people to go through their pads and, and their sketchbooks. And, uh, I know a couple of you guys on YouTube were clamoring for some sketchbooks uh, about two months ago, uh, but there just wasn't enough content. There just wasn't enough out there for me to show anything uh, because it was the beginning of the semester. So now that we're rolling and I'm kind of twisting some people's arms, hey, you should do a sketchbook video. And, uh, you know, just to get their work out there to the world, I, I, I really do believe that uh, Chris Ann is a unique individual with the way that she draws so creatively and uh, everything she does from, you know, taking notes in, in class to, to, you know, doing a homework, she puts her own unique twist on it. And, and it just really blows my mind, uh, the stuff that's out there. I think it's really, really, uh, well, let me just say this. I mean, I'm privileged to be able to peek into everyone's sketchbook and, and I've made it a habit uh, where I, I force the students to draw in each other's sketchbooks at the end of class, whether they like it or not. Uh, I, I do it like every few weeks. I'm like, all right, grab a sketchbook, look through it, try to be influenced by it, you know, draw something in it. And I, I think that's just such a great way if you're in like a block or, or you're just uh, struggling to just look at some other stuff and, and draw in, in somebody else's sketchbook. It just will open you up uh, big time. Now, uh, we had a tally. Uh, well, we didn't have a tally, but I did look over all the comments. And whenever I, you know, one of my biggest and, and first rules with uh, teaching is you never ask 20 people, uh, you know, an opinion because all 20 people will give you a complete different opinion. But I ask anyway because it's fun. It just makes life a little bit more fun. So I asked you guys, do you like the stills or do you like the shaky iPod video and of course it's about 50 50 so what I've decided to do is is put them in here there's just too many uh, but if you if you really want to see close-ups of Chris Ann's uh, drawings just visit my blog uh, it's a drawing tutorials online blog and uh, it's Saturday morning I'm getting ready to go to school in a little bit uh, I've got two classes to teach today and uh, I'm gonna do my best before I leave this uh, studio to get these images up on the blog. So thanks for watching and leave your comments. I'll see you soon. Hey everyone, it's Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We've got a great sketchbook coming up. I know I say that about all of them, but this one's really great. Now again, I'm sorry, I don't know how to get my head in here. So let's go. This is Chris Ann. And Chris Ann is, is eating a very big sandwich, and it looks really good. And again, this is foundation year. I hate to use the word foundation year, but it's freshman animation students at the School of Visual Arts. Today is sketchbook review day. And um, actually, Chris Ann, why don't you scoot to the left just a little bit? Ah, yeah, I want more of that light. Oh, okay. Now. Um, I guess the title of Chris Ann's sketchbook is going to be Drawing Creatively, not just drawing. Like, I would say I just draw, but Chris Ann draws creatively. Okay, let's skip through the homework, homework, homework. Um, but this has got to be one of the most creative sketchbooks that, I, that I've seen. Um, in all my years of, of teaching and uh, wait until you see some of the pages how they're set up it's just really really pretty um, and there I go again with the word pretty uh, so just some just some cruising around stuff let me see if I can't this is not going to be one that I'm going to be able to flip through and once again you know we did take that survey uh, last time after Sayori's sketchbook and the survey was 50% uh, of you guys like the stills with the voiceover, and 50% of you guys like um, the rough, shaky sketchbook video. So I'll take pictures and uh, we'll post them. Okay, and I'll do a voiceover and I'll post the pictures at, at my blog as well. Uh, you know, once again, it's, it's really, really rare. Uh, yeah, your sketchbook died right here. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel your pain. So now we're starting to get into the interesting stuff. 
Um, and just like pages like this, I think are just really mind blowing with you know all those little designs, and it's you know it gets crazier as we go on. Hopefully, uh, you know the lighting over here is not that bad, and you guys can see this. Okay, now the next couple pages are really going to be hard for me to flip through. Just like a page like this, very interesting to look at. You know, something that I would never really do because I just draw. I don't draw creatively like Chrisan does. Um, very cool characters. And then just something like this, I just, I, I thought it was like really awesome the way, um, you know, the cutouts looked in, in, in the sketchbook like that. I'm not doing a really good job with it, but um, I think that this is just really freaky cool. And uh, I love it. You know, I've never seen anybody do that in their sketchbook where they cut out the pages like that. And then they have that one page for the backdrop. And I think that that's awesome. Really awesome. And I know that I'm not doing a good job right now representing it because we still have um, mucho stuff to look at. Just a fun drawing with line and shape and tone. Was that a contest drawing that we had? That's the she-devil in the background. Okay. Um, just really interesting. That was a value ratios. More with the design stuff. Okay, now let me see if... Oh, I can't. This was the homework. Now, I told the students to draw each drawing on one piece of paper, but Chris Ann, you know, she just ignored me. But, you know, she ignored me for the better because look at how creative, you know, she's squeezing all the Bridgmans uh, into one design like this with a marker. And if I pull back a little bit, I just, I, I absolutely adore the, the creativity with the homework. And I looked at that page and I was like, oh my God, no one's ever done the homework like that. And just crossing over from one page to the other and creating like a compositional shape with all that detail, I just think is uh, priceless to look at. More creativity with the homework and stretching over two pages and including some funky designs in between. I absolutely love. Very cool. And yeah, it just, you know, more stuff like t having them touch and, and overlap, combining it with the type. Uh, and the different fonts, and uh, Chris Ann said, you know, sometimes when she's in class, she's got to write in these different fonts and stuff just to remember um, what the teacher's talking about, and uh, some great life stuff. We just can keep flipping. Love that page. Very different and very designy. So Chris Ann, you know, she's got some decisions to make with her career here, and we're going to put some pressure on her in first year of college. Uh, of course we are. Um, but, you know, she can take many, many different routes. She's in animation. Uh, I see so much fine art. I see so much illustration. Um, it's just insane, you know, the, the, the diversity of everything um, in here. And so she could take many, many different paths with her life as uh, school progresses for her and she enters second and third year of college. Just traditional characters, again, uh, crossing the page, just I adore that. We're, we're going to hit 10 minutes with, with this sketchbook video. I know we are. Um, I've got to go a little bit faster. I'm going to have to skip some stuff. And some of you guys cursed me um, when I said that, but I, I have to. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to photograph some and put it on the blog. Now, these were gestures. Now, granted, this was a long time ago. This was maybe four weeks ago. And I just really dig how um, Chris Ann did all this stuff around the gestures, which is like the coolest, coolest thing in, in the world, like just that page, like no, no other student did it like that. And I just thought that it was really, really interesting. Okay, so moving along, double gesture, shape in between, very cool. This is like, a, uh, I feel like I'm watching the Food Network and I'm looking at like delicious food. That, that's, that's how I feel right now. And it's just phenomenal. Like if we just look at, speaking of food, you know, there we go, yeah, there's our, there's our sandwich. sandwich, okay. That's Diana, oh, yeah. she's over there. <laughs> Very cool page.
Yeah, very hard to see on this phone right now. We're, we're going to keep going. We're going to skip some of the boring homework. A uh, little color. Okay, and now we're going to go a little faster. But, you know, I, I, I try to go faster, and then I stop when, when I see this. And uh, when I see a page like that, it's just very, very cool. You're, you're just like a whiz with positive and negative space. Um, that's why I, I just, you, you use that positive and negative space uh, to your advantage. And uh, you've got a lot of overlap, a lot of shape. Very 60s feel with that. Look at how the green stretches across the page. Isn't that, isn't that wicked? Um, I love that. See, I would never do that in my sketchbook. I, I would just sit there and draw, like, hips or a pelvis or something like that, like anatomy. Uh, I, I wouldn't be stretching across pages like this and, and then cutting circles out uh, of this and, and doing all this, like, very interesting stuff. Okay, a couple more. Honestly, we've got a lot to go, but I'm not going to be able to hit it all for you guys. Um, let me go a little faster. That's, is that the fourth or the fifth time that I've said that? Wow. Great stuff. You guys have the pause button. Just pulling up, making sure I get that whole page. Self-portrait. Very nice. Look at the marker. Zigzagging back and forth, creating the value with the marker. And of course, going across the page, your trademark. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is the peanut thing? It's in the beginning. Very pretty. It's a town of people <laughs> having a party. Oh God! Look at that page. I just the design. Is that you said a party? Yeah. Yeah, they're all having a party. Yeah, I can't really go any closer with this iPhone. If I go closer, it goes out of focus. <laughs> Oh, this is one of my favorite pages. So look at the different way with, you know, let's pull away. Look at the design of the page. And that's a whole different way to do the 50 peanut shape technique that I get, give in the first day of class. And no one has ever done it that way. And I was like, whoa, that is really cool. And, of course, our homage to Howard Beckerman. Okay, <laughs> so let's just get one more quick sketchbook, and I'm not going to flip through this whole thing, but, you know, that, that was a sketchbook that was due this week. Now, we've got one here that is uh, also completely done. So this is um, somebody, I guess I, I would call them like a psycho. Um, so again, look, look at the cutting of the holes in the sketchbook, and I uh, love that woman, and then putting that number next to her. Oh, yeah, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. The design with the collage and the line. Empty negative space. I can sit here and just, let's flip. That's my notes. That's how uh, Chris Ann likes to take <laughs> notes. I've never seen anyone take notes like that. She's turning them into a positive and negative space bevy. Gosh, okay. Other notes. More notes. <laughs> More notes about Kafka. Great, great drawing here. Awesome. Okay, hands getting shaky at the 12 minute mark. So that's telling me, Matt, it's time to finish. Oh, God. Okay, storyboards. Should I start? Yeah, just... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much better when somebody holds it. <laughs> okay, there's mine. That's your one that you won the prize for? Okay. Nope. 
Yeah, don't sweat it. Let, let's just show that this is just great. Okay, a couple more. Wow. So what did I say that the, the name of the um, blog was or the video? It's drawn creatively. So if you get um, a little inspiration from this sketchbook, and that's really all this is, is, is lots of inspiration. Uh, try to draw a little bit more creatively like this. It's not always just about, hey, you know, I can draw the best hand in the world and screw everybody. Um, you know, <laughs> you've got to be a little creative at, at some points. And uh, it just takes what could be very mundane and make it just so much more powerful. This is nuts. Okay. Ballerina. I know, I know. Chris Ann, you're backlit. Let's switch. <laughs> okay, now she's front lit. So this would be actually a really good exercise. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Go to the blog. I'm going to try to photograph some of these and put them up on the blog. All right, I'll see you later.